Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it is me, Duke CT. And honestly, what a trip I recently had to WrestleMania. Yes, I was down in Texas for WrestleMania, and it was one of the most fun times I had in a long time. And and man, first off, I have to give a shout out to Chris Moore, aka Rowdy C for putting up with me. Um, and everything else, man. You're great. Also, um, you know, we had a great time actually not wrestling. We went to see some, you know, college, uh, softball and baseball. Um, and, uh, took me to some nice restaurants too. So, um, yeah, thanks again, Chris, for showing me all that good stuff and the crossover episode that we worked on, um, which I think was going to be up soon. So, um, we're going uh, hopefully you guys enjoy that as well um, but yeah this was a great trip there was a lot of positive things a lot of positive stuff I mean I went to so many good things uh, shows and first off I mean WrestleCon was great because you just imagine just walking around I mean just everyone there I mean eating lunch I got like RVD and like well uh, uh, and I think uh, uh, I, other wrestlers there just like chilling and such got a picture with a Bushwhacker or Luke um, uh, just overall I had just one of these funnest times out there great times good times great memories and just really had the, the best times and being a part of some of the uh, best wrestling shows out there and um, you know just really great time but the real good stuff is the story uh, was just getting there. Uh, you know, first off, uh, United and everything. The, the plane ride was fine, but the delays were, you know, problematic, as the uh, as the cool kids say. As what I'm talking about is that there were delays. Um, when I got there early, which I always do, always go to the, you know, if you have a plane trip, get there early. And I got there around, like, you know, uh, like two, uh, two to three hours, three hours early. And that's how I roll, ladies and gentlemen. That's how I roll. I roll, I do three hours early. I am a, uh, I am an early person to get there. I'm, I'm getting in there, and I'm, I'm like, yeah, get there early. It's plane ride. Same thing with trains. Same thing with um, uh, any type of, um, you know, travel experience. Get there early. It's better getting there early than getting there late. And I got there early, but then it's like, oh, wait. It looks like there's going to be a delay. And I said, okay, let me just switch it up. I switched it up, made sure my bags are going there. Good. I'm going to Chicago. Um, actually, first time going to Chicago. It was nice. It was great. I was like, okay, what next? I'm going to be there going down there? I'll be like, okay, a little bit early. Nah, there was another delay from like I was originally going to be there at 10.30. In fact, originally I was going to go to Houston. I'd be there at Wednesday. Um, and such. I left Wednesday, uh, March... Uh, uh, let's see. I left Wednesday, March 30th. And then... Uh, uh, I was supposed to be there at... Um, I was supposed to uh, get there at 10.30. Fine. But uh, go to Houston and then go to uh, DFW. Then I had, but then again, you know, like I said, delays and everything else. Went to Chicago, which originally was going to be where I come back. Went to Chicago, then got delayed, more delays, and I got there at like at three o'clock in the morning. Oh man! I uh, and by the way, thank you, Rowdy. Uh, you know, for just staying there all night and everything else, man. Man, just woo. He was a great host, by the way, and just, you know, the whole uh, trips and everything, just, just that, I mean, yeah, right there. And that's not the first crazy stuff that happened with me uh, over there, and you know, we'll get there when we get there. Um, next thing, you know, the trip was really good. Went to uh, a lot of good events, went to WrestleCon, uh, gosh, I got the super fan thing here, uh, the super fan pack, which was so much fun. Just, quite honestly, one of the best uh, shows I've been there. I watched uh, AAA, uh, uh, Lucha Real Boy, uh, that's my first AAA show live. Um, I went to the Mark Hitchcock Memorial Super Show. 
great stuff. I loved it. It was really good. Uh, there was some really good stuff. Uh, Bandito and Mike Sneeball Bailey, which I got a picture of Mike Sneeball uh, and such. Did get one with Bandito, but, you know, shame. But, man, Mike uh, Sneeball was really good. I didn't even watch all the stuff from the shows and everything. But, yeah, it was really good stuff. Uh, uh, didn't, I saw a little bit of Ricky Dice Trouble in Paradise. Uh, didn't, I saw a little bit of that. Uh, but the main stuff was the, um, the big show. Big show was, uh, Super Card of Honor. And, man, no oh man, that to me was the best stuff out there. Best shows, best matches. Now, you know, I gotta rewatch it again. And, um, when I do, I'm probably gonna do a full-on review of it. Because that show deserves to have some new... Because that show was great. Heck, the main event was really good, too. But, you know, we all know what overshadowed it. Uh, FTR versus, uh, Briscoes. And man, oh man, what a show was that! Woo-wee! Mm. Best tag, I would say, right now, that is my match of the year. And I know I was there live, and everything else was so hyped up. And everything else, but I need to rewatch it again and again to see if I ever the quality holds up because that is my match of the weekend, right there. Even though Speedball, um, um, you know, and um, Bandito, my, uh, you know, those two were great. It's a one A one B situation. I can switch off either or, but right now FTR and uh, Briscoe's was the greatest match I've seen. Probably the best match I've seen in a long while. Uh, in fact, honestly, the best match I see live, and I've never been to a lot of live wrestling events. The, honestly, I know people. Oh, you went to the worst WrestleMania ever, like WrestleMania 27. But no, I watched Taker and Triple H live, and that was great. And and honestly, FTR and Briscoes overshot that. Yeah, it overshot that. And that's what I, I felt like. Man, this was one of the best show, stuff out there. And I was so happy to see that live. And, um, and the rematch with the Young Bucks was great, too. Probably wish I could have gone to that AEW show. But, no. That's not where my card wasn't in the cards. Anyway. Uh, but yeah, I watched the USA vs. the World. I uh, watched that show. That was really fun. Um, yeah, and and then um, I guess then you know I tried to uh, you know I got a lot of pictures and such. Um, you know, got a lot of like uh, autographs, pictures. Uh, you know, one with uh, I think I called Cabana. I got uh, autographs and such. Uh, you see here autographs, and uh, you see the stuff I got of uh, you know the nice autographs and things here, and the pictures. I you see that as well. Uh, just really, you know, they're all nice, and uh, and I gave some of them actually my uh, business card actually. These are so maybe they actually will contact me. It'd be great. <laughs> uh, you know, very nice in interviews and such like that. Anyway, but what about the the the, the uh, stupendous? Explosive, dynamite, uh, biggest showcase of the Immortals WrestleMania. Well, honestly, you know there was some good stuff there. There was some bad stuff and stuff in between. First off, uh, first time at AT and T Stadium, and I gotta say this: the acoustics suck. <clears throat> they do. I could, when anyone was on the mic, I could not hear. It was like where I was sitting was terrible. It was the terrible stuff. I couldn't hear with the, uh, the uh, you know, with the whole interview segment of Kevin Owens and St Steve Austin. That was terrible. And maybe if I rewatch it, it would be a lot better. But when I, uh, because I did some video clips, and there are lots. It, it's better. But when I was there live, I felt the energy of the room was just. It wasn't that good. The show was not good. In my, it you know, night one was better than night two because. At least the main event would actually... I felt like Night One main event actually delivered. <coughs> night night uh, One main event. And also Night One's matches were a lot better as well. Even though some of them, um, you know, did not... Um, 
you know, WrestleMania, um, you know, just didn't really, um, you know, do, you know, some of the matches and an injury like Rick Boogs. I feel bad for Rick Boogs. Um, that was really, um, I felt that was a really good match started. The Usos and Sensei Nakamura and Rick Boogs and such. I really thought this was going to be a really good match. I thought the Usos were going to lose the titles here. But sadly, Rick Boogs got a, 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 uh, an injury and, and such, which really, uh, you know, it, it sucks that um that you know you tore uh, i think a quad and such but you, you've got the you know, surgery and he's a hundred you know went through it i i'm ha i'm i'm just hoping that he gets back to it because i do like rick moves i like the uh guitar stuff um when i do watch him i do like the guitar and rick moves and everything. that's one of the things i'm like hey you know what I may not watch the show, but I do like the video, uh, you know, when I do watch it on, like, Twitter or YouTube, I like the Rick Boone stuff and such, and the stuff with Pat McAfee, because <laughs> it's hilarious. <coughs> Drew McIntyre and Happy Corbin, bleh. <laughs> I'm like, I'm happy Drew kicked out at the uh, end of days, um, and, you know, I just hope that this was, you know, that's it, the feud's pretty much over, good. I was, I might Drew deserves better, and I'm hopeful that he becomes a universal champion and becomes that big guy soon. All right, all right. Um, Miz and Logan Paul ver, uh, took on and defeated Rom, Ray and Dominic Mysterio. Dominic Mysterio, he's fine, he's good, but Logan Paul, I think he's a you know a bit better, a little more crisper in my views. I mean, how? I mean, he did a picture perfect blockbuster and look i mean look, look, look at the picture a, a blockbuster i know it might you know it was a long way away but you know seriously he got a picture perfect blockbuster man on uh you know and such and I'm, i hate the fact that move is not like automatic three counts and everything else you know that yeah, that should be a you know that should be like okay that's it one two three match over but no the match continued and logan paul again i mean seriously he loves the heat and I'm and I am um, a little bit surprised that they won, but then the Miz gave him the skull crush finale, and then he got cheered. And now I'm gonna try Logan Paul as a babyface, which doesn't work. No, 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 Miz. I mean, Miz is fine as a face, but Logan Paul as a babyface is gonna be the absolute worst. We can do some magic, but read the room, guys. The Paul brothers are not baby faces. They're not. They're not. I mean, they're. Imagine John Cena with no children fans cheering him for him. I mean, it. It's like that. The kids booed him. No one. No one likes them. So why can't Logan Paul just Miz be like part of the new version of the Entre Mistarage or whatever? Just. It was a dumb idea. Uh, and, and have Miz be the baby face then. Logan Paul shows up and he's now the true heel or whatever. And have that match and have Miz be the baby face and Logan Paul beats him and cheats his way. And heck, maybe he has a new version of a Miz Taraj group and such. As Logan Paul wants to be supposedly a WE star, so why not have him and Bow Wow and have like the, uh, like a Hollywood, like a Hollywood you know, type of stable. Come on. There's money there if they really want to do it. I mean, maybe I'll have Dominic Mysterio join in if they really want to do something like, you know, have him betray Ray and Dak. I want to be that money making star. Like, I love my dad, but I love money more. Boom. There you go. Three heels and that sort of stuff. You know, really be that prickish heel and everything. That's good stuff. I, that would be good. That's my crazy idea. Anyway, um, match of the night here has to be Bianca Bell and Becky Lynch. Just both were great here. Really good. There was a little bit of a sloppiness in this match, but overall, I thought these two did a great job. The entrances were great. I loved the big time Bex Marvel thing. I loved Bianca Bell's going to, you know, the, the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the bands and everything. It was great. I loved it. Um, and both of these uh, ladies had great chemistry with each other. The action was on point. Everyone, uh, everybody did their jobs perfectly. As Bianca Bell wins the Raw Champ Raw Women's Championship cleanly, beats Becky Lynch. I loved it. 
I think a lot of people are crowd loved it. That's my match of night, and I'm like, this should have made an event. Honestly, should have made an event night too. My my personal opinion. Yeah, the good the the the, uh, the hero won. People were happy and such. When's the last time we had that at WrestleMania? I mean, Bianca had that night one, but why can't we have that night two? Why couldn't that be night two? Why? Why? Anyway, um, Cody Rhodes uh, comes back to WWE, taking on Seth freaking Rollins, and I liked the match, but it looked a little bit too long and such. They should have the crossroads pin, one, two, three, instead of doing all that other extra stuff. I honestly cut, I'm like, you know what, cut five minutes off this match. Cody Rhodes wins, has, um, you know, the crossroads, hit the crossroads, one, two, three, wins and moves on there you go and you can have a storyline of Seth Rollins being like okay I didn't know who was going on but now I know and then we have, you know have a bit of a feud there to build Cody Rhodes up to finally face the big dog eventually that should be the story but I think you know it was a fun match and it would have been great if they just cut some time off and you know what they could have done? Instead of all this stuff from night one, instead of showing all these video packages and such that had the, um, you know, uh, the New Day and uh, same as Rich Holland, uh, both of them are like, uh, you know, uh, was cut. It only had a one minute match. Cut those uh, video, uh, video uh, stuff out. And also cut this match as Charlotte Flair and Ronda Rousey for 18 minutes, which sucked. It sucked. <coughs> I'm not going to protect this match because these two had a really good SummerSlam. Uh, no, no. Survivor Series match. You know? They had a really good Survivor Series match. Really, really good stuff right now. They had a really good stuff in Survivor Series. I, I am, I'm, I'm just, um, you know, I, I'm like, that match was really, really good. I mean, that's what I mean. And by the way, it was only for 14 minutes, by the way. 14 minutes, and they had a really hard-hitting match, and I think that was probably what people were expecting. But instead, we got 18 minutes of just, just none. I don't know what happened these years later, but they have no chemistry. Charlotte Flair and Ronda Rousey has no chemistry with each other. They have no... Um, no, nothing. They just had nothing, and they just get back and forth. And you know, Shaw Flair is like, uh, you know, her, uh, her, um, you know, her, you know, her boobies were out. <laughs> yeah, as, as part of the match. And I'm just like, man, this was like, this was a train wreck match. And I just, ugh, I, I just did not care for it. It's a shame because. These two really had a really good match at Survivor Series a couple years ago. Now, I don't know what happened to that chemistry, but maybe a WrestleMania backlash they can find it. And then you had Stone Cold Steve Austin versus uh, Kevin Owens and Pimp, you know, and they had no holds bar match, which you know, I don't, you know, that's basically no DQ match was fun. I uh, I didn't hear anything else. I couldn't. I was like legitimately chanting what because I couldn't. Do, the acoustics were terrible. <coughs> the acoustics were terrible, so I didn't know what was going to happen. But yeah, I didn't know anything else. It was just so bad. Uh, but overall, it was a fun match. The, the uh, when we finally got to uh, everything it was fun and over nostalgic. And Stone Cold hits a big old stutter and you know wins the day. And yeah, and I left. And then we got part two, WrestleMania night two. This time it's Blander. But it didn't start off that way. As a triple tag team match for all champ tag team titles was really good. RK Bro have this really good chemistry with each other. The Street Profits were really good. Alpha Academy, Chad Gable, and Otis were really good. Uh, they all three teams are great. Um, I, they're really, really good. And I wish they had a lot more time here. And I, I really wish, you know what they should have cut? Maybe they should have cut Edge and AJ Styles' time and give some more time to RK Bro, Street Profits, and the Alpha Academy. Tag teams need more love too, damn it. Mm. Men and women's tag teams. That's just me. <coughs> Next up is Bobby Lashley and uh, Almost. That was a 
Man, this had no build, but they had to build it up to get Lashley back. Hey, at least he didn't need surgery. And um, uh, but almost, man, he has all the things I like. Almost, I do. I don't hate him because oh, he big. Oh, you hate him? No, I think he's fine. I think he is fine. But the problem is he's just man. He looks clunky. You know, he looks clunky. Very, very, very clunky. And I want him to do well. I want him to do everything. Uh, you know, because he does have that personality. He does have that. I want him to be successful. But mm, until I see otherwise, I want to. I just think almost is so. But he, I'm like, if he ever gets it right, I'm gonna be like, there you go. There he is. He's only 27. So, I'm like, if they get almost right, I wouldn't be mad if he actually does beat, like, Roman Reigns for the titles and such. Yeah, have him beat Roman Reigns for the championships if he could get it right. You know? Get it right for almost, you can do it. But well, that's the issue. You know, but that's, you know, if he gets it right. Not, well, well he's going to get the title anyway, so. Eh. 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 Uh, next up is honestly the Anything Goes match. It's John Knoxville and Sami Zayn. Fun as hell. I loved it. I loved the mousetrap uh, finish. I loved the, uh, just the absolute insanity throughout the Jackass crew. Wee Man slamming him. Uh, I loved the mousetrap uh, table. I loved the, uh, the, you know, Johnny Knoxville having every plan. I loved the buttony press. He got a buttony press and he's like, ah, um, you know, got the fireworks and such like that. Remind me of the button of like Arkham City of like the uh, penguins button. And she just, just kept pushing it like, ha! Yes! And he just bums and then wakes up. Um, um, you know, the Solomon Grundy and all that stuff. I'm surprised that that would happen. Then he just like a, I don't know, a, a zombie five version of Almost comes out. Just he's pressing it and just Zay is just doing all these moves or whatever, trying to, you know, defeat him or something. I don't know. I, went on a tangent but yeah it was crazy it was fun um giant Knoxville was fun here i loved his terrell dvt uh i loved his uh just overall just wackiness of jackass and old the whole jackass crew had a really fun time and sammy had a great time too i bet so overall um i think this is a really fun match and you know, I think this is the, I would say the peak here, the match three was the peak. And that should not be the case. The, yeah, it was the peak here. There was peak right here. Next is number four, uh, the match four is the Fatal 4-Way Tag Team match with the Women's Tag Championships. Oh, I feel so bad for these ladies. I feel bad for Sasha Banks, Naomi, Carmella, Queen Zelina, Liv Morgan, Rhea Ripley, Natalya, and Sasha Banks. I'm like, but first it was Sasha Banks and Naomi versus, okay, fine. Hey, I think this could have been a really decent match. But then Liv Morgan and Ripley, uh, Rhea Ripley was in. Then you had Natalya and Sasha Banks. It's just so like, look, we, this is the, we have nothing to do and here you are. And I hate that. And these are just mixed up teams too. <coughs> I hate, I hate it. And they're gonna break up Liv Morgan, Rhea Ripley, because they're gonna, she's gonna join the uh, Edge, the Edge group, the Edge, the Edge group, which is just sad. A uh, tag team breakup because WWE just loves breaking up tag teams. Ugh. And Rhea Ripley just actually broke up a tag team with uh, her and Nikki Ash. I'm like, oh my gosh, just stop, stop breaking up tag team WWE. Just stop it, stop it. Ugh. I and mean, you wonder why people just don't care for the women's tag match. I hate that. I think they're all great, all of them, and they just sit there doing nothing. And they sit there, they did great. The match was actually decent. A little botchy, a little, uh, you know, sloppy and botchy and mochi. But they got, they got, um, you know, they, yeah, they had the chemistry. They have some, some good moves. But I hate, but I just really hate, they, they deserve more. These ladies deserve more than just being put into just some random match or whatever. Make stories for these tag teams. Build them up. Not just for the men, but also for the women as well. And not and don't treat it as just like, oh, well, Women's History Month or whatever, or this thing will be important. No. 
Be consistent with them. Consistency is not hard. Edge and AJ Styles, this match was way too long and boring and never got out of first gear. Uh, until the near end. When then Damian Priest shows up, scares AJ Styles, and Edge wins, and, and they have a Sarah laugh. I, I, I was expecting some good things in this match, but just... When AJ Styles showed up, cut. AJ Styles had that, you know, got like a, a, you know, blood or whatever. I think that was a really bad thing. Um, then we had Sheamus, Rich Holland, New Day, and you know that match only had a minute and forty, and then Butch running around like Scrappy Doo and such. Pretty much Scrappy Doo at this point. I turned Butch into Scrappy Doo, and and no, no, no. Even worse, I said in my um, WrestleMania thing, I said, "What did they do with uh, well?" A butch. I'm like, no, nah, they're turning him into Braun from uh, the um, the new version of Dungeon of Doom, the big leprechaun that just runs around and fights people and, and bites and everything else. That's what Butch is now. Uh, new Day deserve better. Same as Rich Hall and Butch, they deserve better too. And Biggie, you deserve everything. You are the greatest guy ever. And get healthy. We all miss you. Ah, all right. Then we have Pat McAfee taking on Austin Theory, which was a good match. Pat McAfee is, shows that he is just as, um, there's some really good stuff here. And uh, then we have this. And this was the, oh gosh, just Miss McMahon taking on Matt. I might. Oh, this was bad. It was bad, and then after that, um, Stone Cold Steve Austin came in and delivered the worst stunner to, in, in the whole history of Mr. McMahon, and it's just, just a terrible stunner, not surprising at all. Terrible stunner, terrible stuff, all all terrible. This was completely and total garbage. Ugh, pointless second. And then we got the biggest match in history, yada, 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 winner take all. Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar. I'm like, hey, I know Roman Reigns is going to win, but at this point, let's see the match. I hopefully they will be decent and be good. Roman Reigns, it was spear, spear, suplex, suplex, spear, spear, suplex, suplex, Kamara Lock, and then a super spear, and that's it. Then Roman Reigns wins, and he is the champion of all WWE and Universal Champion. Huzzah, and I don't care. Ah! Don't care. That match sucked. It was terrible, and a terrible way to end this feud. And I'm tired of Roman Reigns. Tired of him. Tired of this whole thing. They're trying really hard to make Roman. They really make Roman Reigns do a thing. And I can't wait to see the WrestleMania with Brock Lesnar. Uh, not just Brock Lesnar, but uh, Roman Reigns versus The Rock with everything on the line. And then he's going to leave. And WWE's going like, oh crap, we have no stars anymore. Yeah. Or we're just going to put on Cody Rhodes. Because, you know, Cody Rhodes is, uh, he's, he's great. That's going to just, that's just going to be, well, prime. Anyway, it's time for me to talk about my trip back to the glorious DMV, DC, Maryland, Virginia. And once again, Rowdy DC, uh, Chris Moore, thanks again for doing all this stuff, for driving me around and everything else, man. It was fun and, uh, and, and, and all that good stuff, man. Thank you. And I uh, got there early, as I always do at 12. At 12, and I was like, well, I'm going to be here for three or four hours. I'm going to drive and everything else. But then... Two hours, uh, two hours into my wait, and I'm like, oh, my flight's delayed. Again. So I mean, if I, my flight delayed, it's like, okay, what I'm going to do? I called them and says, oh, oh, yeah, your flight's going to be delayed, and, and you're not going to, you're going to miss your Chicago flight. Okay. All right. So I was, I, I planned ahead, and I'm like, let's do this thing. Let's, uh, figure this out. So United said, you know what? We, yeah, it's a little bit of a goof. We're going to transfer you to America Airlines. Awesome! All right, okay. It's a, and it's a non-stop flight to DC. Great. Hey, it's like oh, then I when I was like oh, right, it looks good. I'm gonna be there like at like and I can be there like at 9:30 p.m. Awesome! I'll be home earlier than I expected. 
I expect to be home. I was gonna be like, well, I'm gonna be there like at 12. Instead, I'm gonna be there like at like 10, like 9:30. Get in and get out. Awesome. Then it said, oh, it was been, uh, when I came in and switched my bags up and everything else, was um, oh, uh, it was delayed again. I'm like, okay, so I'm gonna be there at 10:30. All right. And I sat there and waited, and waited. And waited and delay and delay and so on and so on till it was about 10 o'clock and they're like all right we're gonna be there at 11 o'clock we're gonna be like okay fine it's gonna be a little bit late I can just take an uber home I don't care and we were on the plane and I'm like all right and it says um, sorry everyone there's, there's a storm here and well since there's a storm we can't really do anything. We're just going to be like, uh, um, well, we're going to have to basically say, you got to get off the plane. All right, fine. And I'm like, oh, we're going to leave at 12. We can be there at 3.30. I'm like, at this point, I'm like, hey, we're going to leave like at 1 or 3 o'clock and get there at 5.30. There was one thing that looked like it was going to be that way. I'm like, hey, I'll just take the Metro home, baby. Metro's going to be uh, open at 5 o'clock. I'll go in there and just have a huge sleep when I get home. Bada bing, bada boom. Just like sleep at some seven, seven o'clock in the morning to like to like I don't know, six like to like one or two or three o'clock. That would have been fine. But then, oh joy, guess what? It was delayed again. Another, another, uh, another delay. Um, that they had to say we're gonna do it in the morning, and I'm like, oh, screw this, man. Oh, like I said, a lot of other stuff, but uh, <laughs> but I was and I'm like, okay, but no worries, no worries, no worries. Um, they uh, the whole they, they they say they comp the hotel, and I was like, okay, took a cab there, and that was it. And I just said, and I went back, and, and the hotel is actually really nice too. Had a couch and everything. I was like, man, you know, you know, it was really nice and they had breakfast too, but I woke up a little too late. If I woke up a little bit earlier and had breakfast there, I think it would have been a, a very you know, fun, a lot more of an interesting trip. But I didn't have that uh, time. I just went in um, and like, okay, I just got up and just left and just went, got up and like, okay, where's my, uh, you know, because playing glass leaves at like nine. So, I had no time for breakfast, and I just went, and I had no breakfast. I was, like, going to get some, like, food for similar, but when they were already boarding. And, oh, my goodness, guess what? I forgot my belt, actually. Oh, well, we went to, uh, but, uh skip just two steps. All right, went to boarding, went to, like, okay, let me just go through, you know, screening and everything else, yada, yada, yada. Did all the stuff, and guess what happened? When I was going on the plane, I was like, oh, crap, I forgot my belt. Ah, uh, my belt. It was, I was like, oh my god, I'm going to miss play. And then, oh, the belt was on top of something. And I, you know, I couldn't have time to fit it. So I just ran onto the plane. Well, you know, thank goodness, you know, I, you know, I had a good enough uh, pants and everything. Uh, that didn't fall down, all this stuff. Um, I got my belt, ran straight to the plane. And thank goodness there was no one sitting next to me. I think the only person sitting next to me was like on the, um, uh, you know, the window seat, but there was no one in the middle seat. I just, like, put the belt in the middle seat and sat back and fell asleep watching the, uh, new, uh, Matrix movie, uh, Matrix Resurrections, which I'm like, fine. I was, you know, just sat back, watched it, ran, uh, and I drank some soda, went to sleep, woke up, and, um, yeah, and came back to DC and rode the metro, and I didn't get anything to eat. Basically, all I had was like soda, um, see water. I think like some water, soda, and like some um, chips or whatever. I uh, don't know, some peanuts and stuff. That's my was my breakfast, and I didn't have anything until I went to like the um, New, uh, the, uh, was it, the New Kelton Station, where I had at least like some pizza. And uh, some uh, other foods and such, just something. And that's until I got home, and it was a complete craziness and such. But I got home, and it was a fun experience. But man, ah, uh, but 
it was uh, an experience nonetheless. So yeah, the whole WrestleMania trip was something. It was positive, it was negative, but a lot more positive happened. And a lot more good stuff there. So, yeah. Anyway, thanks so much for listening to my crazy rants and crazy all that good stuff. The crazy ranting and everything else of my you know, trip for WrestleMania. Thanks again for watching. Thanks so much for being here. This is Duke CT. Peace and love. I will see y'all when I see y'all later.